What it do, baby boo? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Carissa, or you can call me Kari, but welcome back to my channel for another part of our Sims 2 to Sims 4 series. So for this part, we are going to be recreating the Curious Brothers and their house, which let me go ahead and tell y'all that their house was a lot of fun to build. For those of you familiar with this family, their house is very eccentric, okay? It's like just it's interesting okay so i had a lot of fun building it. i have never built anything like that never in a million years would ever build anything like that if i wasn't recreating their house so it was a lot of fun and also um it's not exactly correct on the top portion as you'll see with all the stairs and the different uh, levels and everything uh, because unfortunately on the sims 4 you can only go up to four stories and i think in the sims 2 theirs was five but nonetheless it still pretty much looks spot on <laughs> but anyways let's go ahead and talk about these curious brothers shall we so as you will see or as you know the curious brothers have a fondness for aliens so apparently, I think Glarn, I'm thinking Glarn is their dad. He was abducted by Pollination Technician 9 and had twin girls, Lola and Chloe, curious, which they are in the family band. So that is the Curious Brothers' half-sisters. Um, and then when you start the game, Pascal Curious is actually pregnant with an alien child. So that's interesting. That's why there's like baby stuff set up for those of you who didn't know. And also uh, Jenny Smith married Pollination Technician 9, which is her half-sister's father and has had two children with him. That's really confusing. I don't know if y'all follow that, but look up this family on Sims Wikia and you will understand. I really don't even know how to explain it. I'm just as confused as you are. Um, but anyways, also when you start the game, Vidkid, which is the blonde we just made, um, he will also get impregnated after he's abducted by aliens if um, you direct him to use one of the to uh, telescopes when you first start playing the household. So potentially you could have two of these brothers pregnant with uh, alien babies. But um, yeah, anyways, um, their house is, uh, like I said, very, very interesting. But like the inside is very like modern, but it's kind of bare. I noticed like their bedrooms look like insane asylum. <laughs> like it's just very bare they have. Um, aside from the rooms with the babies, there's just like a bed and a dresser. And it's kind of weird. <laughs> I don't get it. And also they have like a chess table. They have like a little planned area. And then they have like these, this weird setup where they watch TV. It's like these desks and then these chairs facing the desk and then turned around facing the computer, not the computer, the TV. And they have two TVs, which does not remind me of like sporty brothers that like to watch TV and all their different sports. You know how you go into a sports restaurant or, you know, a sports bar and there's like TVs everywhere. It just reminds me of like, they're looking for aliens. Like they, it's techie it just techie looking to me and then upstairs they have two telescopes and of course in the sims 4 we don't have small telescopes we have those big ass telescopes that take up so much room but fortunately they both fit so they both are functional on the house um the house and the family of course is for download on the gallery so if you want to go download it like i said it is functional but anyways what's weird i just like previously i tried to explain their little family tree but they have, like, no relationship with their family, which is kind of weird. They don't know any of their sisters or their half-sisters. I don't get that, but whatever. <laughs> also, the Curious family is in The Sims 3 as well. So, in The Sims 3, Marshall Curious is a busy scientist in Twinbrook, but the family struggles to pay the mortgage. Cherish Curit, huh? <laughs> Cherish Curious took up teaching to make ends meet and discovered that she loved the career. Not so curious. Oh, I get it. Not so, not so curious. <laughs> Grandfather of the Curious Brothers and Jenny in The Sims 2 is only a toddler in The Sims 3 ambitions and is best friends with Zoe Wilhoff. The Curious family live far out of town in one of Twinbrook's many swamps. Um, there is a Sim named Stuart Curious buried in Twinbrook, although his relationship to the family is never stated. So the Curious family are one of the few families that have five generations, along with Veronaville's Monty and Cat family. So that's interesting because I really didn't even pick up on the fact that they, they was in The Sims 3 or their family was in The Sims 3 as well. But anyways, let's talk a little bit about the brothers, shall we? So, um... 
we can talk about Vinkud. Uh, where is he at? I'm trying to look him up and I can't find him. Where is my picture of Vinkud? Oh my god, I am sucking this up right now. Shoot me in the face, but I think we have a little bit of time for me to find it. What the hell, dude? I swear to god, I just had it. Okay, <laughs> sorry guys. Anyways, um, I swear I'm getting this together. This is a freaking screw up. Okay, sorry. Vincud, curious. Okay, apparently he is the oldest brother, okay? And, um, he is very best friend with Laszlo. Um, he's okay friends with his brother Pascal, but he's, like, very close to his brother, um, Laszlo. He works in the science career track as a lab assistant, and like I said, if you start the game and you direct him to use the telescope, which I believe he probably like has a want for or something, that like it would trigger you to do that, he will be in, abducted and impregnated. Um, but yeah, he's blonde, you know, with the, the hair. And you see what I did with the hair? It's actually a female hair. <laughs> but it's the only one that I could find that worked well for him. And he has those large green tinted glasses that all of the freaking Sims wear in The Sims 2. But we don't have those glasses in The Sims 4. So, bear with me. <laughs> but he enjoys stargazing and basically anything that has to do with studying. So, as a teenager, in his memories, you will find that he lost a fight to General Buzz Grunt. And went steady with Cursey Beaker. His his childhood friend who is now married to his bitter rival Loki Beaker and he still has a crush on Kiersey but his feelings are not mutual as she is married and only sees him as an acquaintance um but yeah other than that not much not much on him so let's move on to his brother Laszlo um, so Laszlo, he's actually the youngest. I should have done him last, but he is the youngest of the brothers. He has the long black hair, wears once again those green shaded glasses, a purple shirt, gray jeans, and sandals. I tried to do what I could, bear with me. But anyways, he is more relaxed and easygoing than Pascal and Benkin, which is why he usually isn't involved in their rivalry with Loki Beaker. So yeah. He's a nice guy. He's probably my favorite out of the brothers. I've always thought that, even when I used to play them. But moving on to Pascal Curious, who is the middle brother. He is the one that is pregnant with the alien baby when you go into the game. Um, but also, um, he also, in his memory, sorry, he lost a fight to General Buzz Grunt. And he got rejected by Cursey Beaker for his first kiss. Which is why he's enemies with Loki Beaker, who is Cursey's husband. So that's interesting. Him and his brother Vinkin both had a crush on her. But he actually got rejected. He tried to kiss her. So, hmm, I wonder if the brothers know that they both was interested in the same woman. Hmm. But anyways, um, yeah, that's pretty much it, um about the brothers there's not much like individually about them but they are just these nerdy little science geeks that are obsessed with aliens i think that they was a lot of fun to play with i just really love the strange tone families they're just very unique and very different their houses are different um and like i said they had some drama with uh the beaker family so yeah i enjoy playing them oh also i can mention that pascal which is the one that is pregnant he is really good friends with nervous subject that we just recreated from the beaker family you know last week so they are like really good friends and um also i know like it was a very popular like thing to do when you would play it and i've seen like a lot of comments and stuff where people said the same thing that they would always set pascal and nervous up because they just got that vibe that they were more than friends and that pascal was you know into guys which you know i kind of agree with so that's interesting um yeah <laughs> but anyways guys i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this part up because i'm starting to ramble because i've already read all of my research on this family but yeah <laughs> i hope you guys enjoy the build hope you guys enjoy the video like i said this house and the sims will be uploaded to the gallery so if you want to download them they are available also we have three more families to go in this series and then it's a it's it's in it's over it's over and i had asked well, what do you guys think about me doing sims 3 houses and their families but i don't think i'm going to do that um i also had somebody suggest that i possibly 
do something in The Sims 4 where I play with the townies and play with their stories and like build on all their stories but have them all like interactive with each other like in one save file we would just skip houses. So that's something different. I haven't really seen a lot of Let's Plays like that so if that's something you're interested in let me know. Otherwise I'll probably just end this in about three weeks and maybe just use the extra day where I'm not recording to build more because I know some of you enjoy my builds. So just let me know if you made it this far what you guys think I should do because I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do to replace this series but it's been a lot of fun and I'm sad it's coming to an end. But anyways, wow, I'm really going to shut up now. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed and I will talk to y'all later.